the car, sweetheart. Hello? I need to speak to you about Stephen Connolly. Who? Let's not, shall we? Doubtless you're aware you've committed a criminal offence. I'll be with you at five. Every good story holds at least some information back from readers and audiences, some secret or some backstory element to increase intrigue and to generate subtext. But how and when should writers reveal hidden information in their stories? All at once or in smaller increments? Let's get to it. In his book, Your Screenplay Sucks, William M. Akers stresses the importance of locating reveals in the right place. He uses an example provided by UCLA's screenwriting program head, William Frug, about an old man feeding pigeons from a park bench. Should the old man dump the whole bag of crumbs on the grass right away or scatter a few at a time? The answer is obvious ration out the crumbs to keep the pigeons interested for longer. And so it is with the story reveal, locating it later on in the tale and hinting at it by scattering clues along the way generates more subtext and therefore more curiosity. It is the better option. The novel Notes on a Scandal starts with a big scene which reveals that the Kate Blanchett character has had an affair with one of her students. The book handles this information as the inciting incident. It's a heck of a start to the story, but it does give the biggest secret away from the start. The film version handles this differently, revealing the news later on. This has the effect of keeping the audience on a string, which grants the reveal, when it is unleashed, more punch. In Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, screenwriter William Goldman saves the small surprise that Butch is from New Jersey until the movie is well underway. Look, I know a lot more about Bolivia than you know about Atlantic City, New Jersey. I can tell you that. Aha! You do, huh? I was born there. I was born in New Jersey. Brought up there. So, you're from the East? I didn't know that. The writer offers an even bigger reveal later when the men are about to hit the payroll guards in Bolivia. During the face-off with a bunch of rough-looking bandits, Butch tells Sundance that he's never shot anyone before. <laughs> Kid, there's something I think I ought to tell you. I never shot anybody before. One hell of a time to tell me. It's not a good time to let your partner in crime know about your lack of experience, but it is a hugely impactful moment for the audience. Imagine if a screenwriter had started the story by having Butch introduce himself to Sundance with, Hi there, my name's Robert Leroy Parker. I'm really from New Jersey. I've never shot anyone in my life before. That would have been pretty lame, right? Luckily, the screenwriter knew better. In summary then, withhold crucial information for as long as possible. Release it later in the tale when it can generate the most impact. That's it for now. If you gained value from this video, hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching and see you soon.